What's up guys? Today I got a kettlebell workout coming at you. It's going to burn a lot of calories, cause you to sweat a lot, and it's going to build a lot of muscle at the same time. So, if you got a kettlebell at home, pick it up. Let's get ready. We're going to do three rounds of three circuits each. Now, if you don't have a kettlebell at home, that's okay. You don't have to go out and buy any expensive kettlebells. You can pick up one of these from the grocery store, use it the same as a kettlebell. So, you know me, I'm all about no excuses. So, no kettlebell, no problem. Pick up one of these for a dollar from the grocery store and follow along with us. Now, first, let's take and warm up a little bit. We want to take down to a good morning. Stretching our lower back out. and our hamstrings. So from the side, we're gonna get 10 of these. That's three, four, five, six, seven, get a good stretch, eight, Nine and ten. Now, let's take down to a deep squat. Slow, as deep as you can go. Warming up those hips and those quads. For two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, 14. Now, warming up our shoulders, let's get some shoulder circles in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, bring them in reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now we're gonna be swinging the bell. So focus on this warm up so you don't have any injuries. Come down to the good mornings again. Feel that stretch in your legs and lower back. Two, three, four, four, five, let's get five more, six, seven, Exercise before going through the circuit again. 
So if you got a water jug, pick your water jug up. If it's a kettlebell, pick your kettlebell up. We're gonna hold it out front, like this, close to our body. And we've got our feet close together. So, usually a squat is done with feet shoulder width apart. We wanna bring them in this time to target a different side of our backside. So, we're gonna squat, four, press, one. Squat, press, two. Show you guys from the side. Squat, press, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, really feeling it now, nine, trying to get to twelve, ten, 11 and 12. All right, next move. We're gonna target our hamstrings, our foot, lower back, and our upper back. We wanna take one foot out front, and we wanna take one to the back, and we just wanna rest that back toe, then down. Now, we're gonna deadlift on this front leg, and then we're gonna do a pull. So, deadlift down, poking your butt back, and pull. Four, one. Deadlift down, two. Again, if you're doing any of these moves and you're feeling any tension, 
sharp pains or anything in that lower back, stop immediately. Lighten up the weight if you still feel it. Stop it all together. All right, so come back to those squats. Close together from the side. And squat, press. Squat, press. That's two. Squat, press for three. Four, five, come on, six, seven, eight, three more, you got it, nine, ten, Eleven, I said three, I meant four. Twelve. There you go. All right. Now, down to those deadlifts. We'll take our left foot out front. Right toe back. Shoulders, pull them back. And poke the butt back. So you feel it in those hamstrings, stop and pull. One. Stop and pull. Two. Three. Come on. Four. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, if you got it, two more, eleven, and twelve. I ain't even gonna lie, that one was tough. Here we go, let's power through it. Left foot forward. Right toe down. Shoulder back. And deadlift. Pull. One. Pull. Two. Pull. Three, four, four, five, lock out at the top, six, seven, Two, working our biceps and our legs. 
three. From the side. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Good job. Catch your breath. That was a total body move. That worked our core, our biceps, our butt, and our legs. So if you're not out of breath like I am, your weight is too light, or you're not doing these moves right. Next move. We're gonna hold that weight again. And we're gonna curtsy lunge. So just like you're doing the curtsy, four, one, other leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is really working my core. Eight, nine, ten. 11, and 4, good job, take a few seconds, now we're going to isolate our triceps and do a standing tricep extension, so take that bell to the top or that jug for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Take about 30 seconds here. Catch our breath. And then we're gonna go back through those three moves again. As you guys can probably already see, these moves don't isolate one particular muscle. And because of that, it's almost like you're doing cardio and strength training in one workout rolled up together. This is what's called maximizing your time to get maximum benefits. All right, here we go back to those squat curls. I'm gonna give you guys a front view this time. Don't let those knees go over the toes. Feet shoulder width apart. Keep your back straight. Drop the weight. One. Two, come on. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. It's rough. Getting major results though from workouts like these especially if you add proper nutrition to it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my little slip here on my recipe playlist. If you're not eating right, that's a bigger part of the equation than you think. Go over to my recipe playlist, start eating better so you can get the best results from these workouts. All right, courtesy lunge. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, two more we got. Eleven, twelve. Again, if I hadn't said it already, that move is brutal. Your body's having to hold the weight up, keep you from falling forward, which means you're activating all your ab muscles. You don't have to do crunches to get abs. Matter of fact, that's not the way to get abs. You gotta put your body in a calorie deficit, and you gotta build muscle. Now, tricep extensions. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. One more round on that circuit. Get your breath. Take deep breaths. Keep your hands above your head. Don't slump over. Slumping over causes a restriction in the airway. It also causes you longer to get your breath back, get your heart rate down. So stand straight up. Give me three more deep breaths. One. Two, and give me one more deep breath. Three, let's go. Squat curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, give me 12 if you can. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, curtsy lunge is coming up. Shake your shoulders out. Get ready to hold that weight again. Go on for twelve curtsy lunges. And hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two more. Last one, 12. All right. We got tricep extensions. Pick up your weight. Bring it over here. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more if you got it, eleven, twelve. Great job guys, we got one more circuit left. And we'll have done total body workout. And again, as you can see, burn a ton of calories and fat. All right, guys, here's our third and final round. We're going three exercises, three times through. Our first move, be sure you don't go too heavy with these moves. It's a kettlebell swing. Your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna hold that kettlebell, keeping your back straight, bring it down right below and up. So I'm not squatting down. This is the move without the kettlebell. Be sure not to do this. We're just bringing it right here and up in one fluid motion. Okay, so pick up your kettlebell. 
And let's get those swings. Here we go. First move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep your shoulders back. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Now, we're going to come down to the floor. We're bridging up on one foot and we're gonna press. So come up on one foot and press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Bring it down. We're going on the left foot this time. Bridge up. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Push it. 10, three, two more. 11 and 12. Bring it back down. All right, that's round one. Now on those, if you need to, bridge up on both legs. If you can't come up on one leg, bridge up on both. All right, round two. Here we go. Get a bit of swings that you guys see from the front angle this time. Four, 12, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Now we're going to come down to the floor. Let's get those bridge ups. Four. Right leg up. One, two, three, four. Let's get six and hold. Five, six. Hold it right there. Hold it as long as you can. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. And lower. Now let's take the left foot, bridge up for six presses. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. Hold that as long as you can. Hold it. Hold it. We got one more round after this and we're done, guys. Come on. Tough it out. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right. Here's our last round of swings and bridge ups. And you guys will have crushed one hard workout. Here we go with our kettlebell swings. Shooting for 12. Can't get that high. Stop before you hurt yourself. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, bring it back down to the floor. Coming up. Right leg up and press for six, two, three, four, five. Keep that butt up there. Six. Hold it high. Hold it high. Hold it. 
five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Left leg, and this is it. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it if you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well, guys, if you made it all the way through, awesome job. You just did something great for your health. You should feel good about yourself. If you continuously do these kind of exercises or any kind of exercise on a regular basis, you're gonna feel better physically, you're gonna feel better mentally. Now add that nutrition piece to it and you'll get the body you want, the lifestyle you want. Remember, one life, one body, one chance. See you guys next time.